as hard as it may be sometimes to get the product into the stores, most of the time, the problem is getting the product out of the stores. You know, the truth is, most of the products that get launched into retail don't succeed. And it's because they're not filling a need and they can't convey their solution to the consumer. So you may have the best product in the world and may have the best ingredients and may be the end all be all. But until somebody knows about the product, which is marketing, and then until they pull the product off the shelf, which is from promotion, you're not going to be able to get a new customer because the truth is that most people stick to what they know. They stick to the rivers and the lakes that they're used to. And the problem is that when we're launching a product into the stores and we have the product on the shelf, you're limited on your communication with that customer. So most of the time, you get a couple test stores, you put the product out there, it doesn't move, and then not being able to sell through. Because the difference between having a product at a fair or at a um, weekend market is that when you're there selling, it's much easier to convey the competitive advantage and the cool part about your product and what makes it unique and special and you know, how it was made. But when you're sitting on a shelf, you're just like everybody else. So a couple of promotional strategies that we figured out that work. One is you can use uh, branding to your advantage by putting a sticker or decal on the door of the shop. Say, now available inside your product. Get top of mind, you know, that'll make people aware of what the brand is, even if they don't know what it does. It'll allow them to get into the frame where they're like, oh, it's something new. I'll try a new energy drink. I'll try a new snack. I'll try a new product. The next thing is to get their attention when they're walking through the store. So you have two different solutions for that. One is a shelf talker. Um, comes in a bunch of different varieties. You can hang it from the ceiling. You can put it on the shelf. You can put it on the floor. Um, you've probably seen you know, arrows on the floor that point you know, to a shelf and get somebody's attention. That's what you're trying to do is you're trying to stop the person from their everyday routine and get their attention when they're in the store. Next is you're going to have to explain the product with it on the shelf without anybody there explaining it. So uh, you know, another promotional strategy might be including either a video. You can, you can have one of those uh, digital video players that plays um, little infomercial about the product. Uh, you can have a tag on the product that is easily glued on, uh, that gives more information about what it does. But I suggest instead of using words, use imagery. Something's easy for somebody to, you know, glance by and understand what your product does uh, when they pick it up off the shelf. Because if you can solve somebody's problem, you gotta tell them about it. And the next uh, step would be tell the people who work in the store. Unless it's at a place like Ace where, you know, they focus on that customer you know, attention and that customer help, it's not very likely that, you know, somebody's going to be escorting a customer around the store to try to solve their problem and that they're going to know what to solve. Um, yeah, you got to plan for that kind of uh, non-committal from the store. But at the same time, you know, you miss 100% of what you don't swing at. So, you know, educating the store in whatever manner they'll allow you to do, because I doubt they're going to have you come in and put on a seminar. But if you could educate uh, the store owner, the manager, uh, anybody on the floor, that would help you move units. At the end of the day, it's about getting the product to move off the shelf and then keeping it moving off the shelf. And use in-store promotions to do that, to get their attention and to get them to move the product.